What's poppin' you guys? It's Jay, and today I'm back with another video. Today's video, guys, I'm so excited. Today's video is a life update. First of all, y'all like my hair? Ooh. Y'all, I got this slick bag with the Aunt, ja Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel. Yo, go get it. Just, just go get it, and it's alcohol free. What is a gorilla snot? Who is that? We don't know her. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let's get kind of comfortable, set y'all up. So, guys, today's video is going to be a life update. Um, I have had a lot of good things happen to me recently, and I really just want to be able to share some of these things with you guys because you're a part of my life. You're my YouTube fam. Y'all my J babies. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. The first topic I want to talk about is my mental health. How have I been with the loss of my baby, um, with school coming and everything going on in my life? How am I handling it? Um, I want to just say that I take a lot of things day by day. Um, I can't overall say, oh my God, I've been so great. And I can't say, oh my God, I've been so sad. My mental health is terrible. Everything is truly day by day. Um, there are days where I wake up, think about my son. Um, if you guys didn't notice, this necklace, I never take it off. It's a pair of little feet. And I wear it to remember him because um, my boyfriend is like super tall, guys. He's like 6'1", 6'2". And um, Alex ended up getting really big feet and really big hands because of that. Because he was going to be super tall, just like his dad, you could tell. But um, I wear this to remember him. So some days I wake up. I look at it and I'm like, wow, I miss my baby. But like in a positive way. It's like, oh, wow, I miss my baby. But he's in heaven. He's resting. He's not hurting. He's not sick. He's fine. There are other days where I'll be looking at his pictures or whatnot. Or I'll see something else about babies online. And I'll instantly just break down into tears. Some days are definitely harder than other. Um, I've had more good days than bad. I'll say that as far as Alex and for those of you that do want to know um, a little bit more about his condition, um, I still just don't know if I'm ready to fully put that out there yet. Um, I definitely do want to bring awareness to his condition because it was rare. It was nothing in my bloodline or my boyfriend's or anything we could have prevented. So I do want to bring awareness to it, but I'm just not sure if right now is the time because he would have been four months old coming in like a week or so so I just don't think it's the right time eventually I definitely will make a video about it but just not now but overall my mental health has been pretty good um so let's get into the next topic my next topic is that I have some really good news guys for those of you who don't know um I go to Southern University in Baton Rouge and I have been wanting to get a new job for a while. Um, for those of you that don't know, I used to work at Jimmy John's. I used to do vlogs and have like my work shirt on. So I don't know if I ever like fully announced it in a video, but I did used to work at Jimmy John's, which is a sandwich place if you don't know what that is. Um, but I actually just got a job and it is a really good job, guys. I am going to, wait. For those of you who didn't know, I am I go to Southern University in Baton Rouge and I am a nursing major. Um, before I went to Southern, I went to high school. At my high school, we had a program where you could become, what's it called? You could get an associate's degree to become a welder. You could get licensure to become a pharmacy tech, a, not an EMT. I forgot the other one, or a CNA. And then they had like food serve safe or something like that. Basically my high school tried to set you up to where if you did not want to go to college, you could still get a good paying job. Um, so I did participate in one of those programs. I did the CNA program. So I am a licensed certified nursing assistant. Um, and I've been wanting to work in my field for a long time because for one, it's more money. Um, I do stay in an apartment, so I do have bills and everything to pay. I pay my own phone bill, my own lights, my own electricity. You know, I pay for everything myself. I don't rely on my parents at all. They don't help me at all. Not it's like they wouldn't, but they just don't. Because um, I'm pretty independent. I like to do things by myself. Um, 
So I needed a good job to go ahead and help me. So I was working at Jimmy Don's from March of 19 to, to April, March, April of um, 2020. Basically, um, the, like the week or two after my baby shower, that's when I stopped working, but of course I was still employed there. Um, but I officially decided not to return um, after I had my baby. Um, there were just a lot of not good things that happened to me at that job. Um, I'm not gonna get into that cause I don't need that negativity in my life, but it is not a job that I wanted to return to, um, especially after Alex passed. Cause I did think about it twice, but then after Alex passed, it's just not an environment I wanted to return to. I had memories there of being pregnant and whatnot. I just didn't want to go back to that environment. Um, so the good news is that I got a job. I got a job at the hospital, one of the hospitals in Baton Rouge. For my safety, I don't want to say the name of the hospital, but I did get a job at the hospital. So I will be working as a CNA at the hospital in the pediatrics unit, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't know if I'm gonna edit it out or not, but like, let me just camera. I just literally had to help push my boyfriend's car. Um, he's getting some work done to it and we had to push it onto this. Don't even worry about it. Just know I just been in a hot sun for like, like an hour y'all. Oh my goodness. But anyway, um, I believe I was telling you guys that I have been wanting ever since I had my son and with his disability and everything, I stayed in the NICU for about a week with him, um, like slept there, ate there, like everything. Like I didn't leave. I just stayed there with him the week that he was getting ready to come home. Um, so he could get used to being around his mom like 24 seven. I didn't want him to get home and him not be used to being around us and only be used to being around like the nurses and they, they're not in there all the time. So I wanted him to get used to being with me, but that's besides the point. Um, that was when I knew that I wanted to work with children, specifically babies. But hey, we're starting with kids, so that's a start. And then kids do also mean babies, so that is a start. Um, so yes, I will be working at the hospital in the pediatric unit with children. And I am so, so, so excited, you guys. Um, I'm not going to go into like details about how much I'll be making or anything like that, but just know this is like a tremendous amount more than I was making before. Before I was living check to check, then the virus came, I was pregnant, had my son, couldn't go back to work, got unemployment. That's how I stayed afloat. Um, now we're not getting unemployment anymore, as you guys know, and it's just time to get back into work and school mode. Um, so I'm just truly, truly blessed. And I just want to thank God for this job opportunity that I have received. And you guys, if you don't know, this is point number three. Um, I have been needing a car. I've been wanting a car slash needing a car. Honestly, since I was a senior in high school, um, my parents weren't the most, I'm not going to say they weren't fortunate because we weren't poor, but like I could have everything I needed, just not everything I wanted, if that makes sense. So, um, when I was... 18 um getting ready to leave for college the plan was to get me a car before i left for college that plan soon changed and then it was 2018 and then it was 2019 still no car now it is 2020 but guys i can finally report that i have been praying and manifesting that before i turned 21 i would have my license and i would have my car because i actually don't have a license either um that i have a license i have a car and that is actually happening um refunds are about to drop for my university as soon as i get my refund i am going to be getting my license and since i am 20 years old i only have to do the 14 hour course so that's not going to take long at all uh should maybe take a week to get my license and then you guys my mom actually decided since i got the job working at the hospital um, I am going to need my own transportation. I'm not going to be able to rely on my boyfriend to drive me everywhere because he also just got a new job. Um, that I'm going to need my own transportation to and from. And then whenever we start school, I'm going to need a car for that as well. So you guys, my mom took the liberty of giving me her 2016 Nissan Altima. Um, she is giving that car to me. And then she went ahead and got the new 2020 Nissan Rogue. And she is so excited. She loves her car. And we worked out a deal where I'm going to pay her some money every month to help with the rest of the car note because the car is almost paid off um, to pay for the rest of the car note and pay for my insurance. 
and with my new job i'm going to be able to totally afford that and still have extra money left over so you guys like i said just blessings on blessings on blessings i am so 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 thankful so guys that is it for this video if you like this video make sure to give me a big thumbs up comment down below oh, there are people outside Comment down below more video ideas that you want to see from me, especially comment down below if you want to hear about my struggles that I have had in college. This is not a Southern related video idea. This is just a college related video. Um, if you like me, if you, if you feel an odd vibe, you know, hit the subscribe button <laughs> or hit the notification and hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications to your device when I upload or come back every Sunday around three o'clock, four o'clock five o'clock honestly i have actually been doing really good at posting at least around 3 30 um so you know hit me up hit the bell subscribe all of that comment down below and i love you guys so much stay awesome bye guys Spend out here.